all right wonderful people welcome back to this wonderful channel where we'll bring you back-to-back -back updates and information as to the heart uh it's a new week a new monday new week uh to jolly to go to work hard to make moves uh to start a new plan to start a new business uh to start a new ideas to pu push into what you have ever desired it's never too late to start now um there is this talk that stayed start now channel <laughs> so when you start now you are actually starting late you are actually starting early uh no matter how many years you are or how old you have been on this earth also want to remind you to subscribe to our channel like comment share and also remember to on your notification button as so that whenever our news drop, you go be the first who we'll collect. I'm making a munu. Yeah. I see the be my wonderful people. Uh, the information will be said if they drop for my table this Monday morning. Uh, this one, a bloody information. Oh, I see the be they say seven people have been killed and over 1,000 has been kidnapped as gunmen attack Castena. Uh, I know some of you will be saying, uh, why will I be bringing matters that concerns Castena? Uh, in this particular channel um but the one thing you need to understand is that they are human being and um uh, our people say that uh no any floor cocoa airborne a bone such a piano can no 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 i talk and that proverb say he that sees a hen uh, uh playing with its legs in physics uh should uh, chase the hen and rescue it because you don't know if you are the one that is going to eat the hen's leg and I see the be uh, make I bring you the matters where we say it they happen for that side because all of them qua na human being when them be. At least seven people were killed and hundred kidnapped on Saturday night when government attacked a rural community in Nigeria's northwestern Castana State. Residents and police said yesterday. A ritual report said it was the latest attack against residents in the north of the country. Armed gangs known locally as bandits have frequently raided communities in the northwest, kidnapping residents, students, and motorists for ransom. Residents said gunmen on motorbikes arrived in Maidabino village in Danzamuza, local government area of Castina, and started shootouts, shooting sporadically, forcing re residents to flee. Hazan Aliyu told Reuters by phone that the attack took residents by surprise, and dozens of women and children were confirmed missing. They killed seven people, including burning two children, Aliyu said. They spent more than six hours destroying our properties, he added. Awalu Ismail, another resident, said the government first blocked all roads leading to my double before the attack. They burnt down our shops, vehicles, and took away our livestock. They also kidnapped my wife and more than 100 women and vehicles, he said. Kasna State Police spokesman Abubakar Ali Sadiq confirmed the attack and the seven deaths, but would not say whether anyone was missing. He said police were investigating. The remaining men who did not flee are living in fear and waiting to hear news about their abducted loved ones, said Mohammed Sani, whose sister was abducted. Meanwhile, more than 1,000 people died during Hajj this year, according to a Reuters tally, as extreme heat hammered the nearly 2 million who took part in the annual Muslim pilgrim to Mecca. Most of the dead were Egyptians. Security and medical source told Reuters on Sunday that the Egyptians' death toll had risen to 672 and another with 25 were missing. A total of 236 Indonesians died, according to Indonesian government data, while India's external affairs agency said 98 Indian citizens died during Hajj. Further deaths were reported by Tuzinia. Jordan, Iran, and Senegal, making this year's total toll at 1,144 people, according to a Reuters Italy. An Egyptian crisis unit tasked with investigating the situation said on Saturday it has suspended license of 16 tourism companies and referred them 
to the public prosecutor accusing them of being responsible for death, he said we are mainly among pilgrims not registered under the official system. The unit said that one death we are confirmed as a result of chronic illness among official registered pilgrims. My brother, my people, now don't see us see it happen uh, for that Castena state. Um, you remember around 2015, uh, 16 and 17, uh, when the government of Nigeria were negotiating with the terrorists uh, during the time of Chibo girls. It was only 80 something, either 83 Chibo girls uh, that was kidnapped then. And the, the government of Nigeria decided to negotiate uh, with them. Uh, because they felt that uh, negotiating with uh, a bandit would be the way uh, to make way. And um, everybody, even the world, kn knew that that was the greatest mistake uh, that the Nigerian government made uh, because uh, you negotiated with these people, gave them million, millions, uh, billions of naira, and in turn, uh, the Chibok girls were not released. The millions were used to purchase a lot of weapons and now the government is still negotiating and a lot of people are still dying. I believe that it is paramount and the first paramount and the uh, uh, first uh, work of the government is to make sure that um, uh, 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 security is provided for the citizens. But over here, that is not what we are seeing. I see the B, the same multi-million public asset under attack as vandals, plunder bridge railing, steal power cables, others. Uh, I wonder why some people will be doing this thing. But let's go down to the full detail of the information. On June 27, 2024, the Lagos Rapid Response Squad officers apprehended a 18-year-old boy for stealing lead road stored light from the newly novated 10 Mainland Bridge. The suspect, who was said to live in Makoko, a slum settlement in Lagos, was identified as Mubarak Abdullahi. Lead lights were energy efficient, long lasting lighting solution using lighting emitting diodes to produce light, clear illumination. Lead road lighting, according to experts, sufficiently improved visibility, safety, and energy efficiency. Installed on bridges like Tenim Lam Bridge, Niger Bridge, lead reduced accidents. And operational cost. Lead offer lower energy consumption, longer lifespan, and reduce maintenance compared to traditional lighting. Uh, my people, when I don't see I see they happen, according to the uh, Safety Nigeria, an online emergency and safety website, and, and lead road stored light in Nigeria costs between 7,000 and 15,000 per unit. Uh, I wonder why this, if you all these uh, vandals, most of them are these house people that are doing iron condemn. I, I think it's even high time uh, that the government start looking into this iron condemn business. Uh, is either, is either uh, that, uh, that they are being built or that they start paying tax or that the government look into some of these things because there are a lot of criminal activities. Uh, going on with this iron condemn and the rest of them. You see these people going into somebody's house, uh, going into somebody's house to take what is there and other, other things that are not supposed to be done. You see these house are people doing this, especially then at the one all over, all over Nigeria, all over the southeast, south, south, southwest. These people can come inside your house, carry your gen and do all manner of things to your properties. And I wonder why a, a sound human being uh, will choose this type of way uh, to be able to make it because uh, I don't know how much they will be getting from that kind of business because the, everything is just to uh, get this thing and sell it at auction price. Meanwhile, let's go to Delta State. About 1,000 displays as Delta demolished 40 buildings. Um, it's like the present government, the government of um, 2023 to 2024, and also the government that follows uh, uh, President Bola Ahmed Tinubu are the government of demolition. Uh, it first started in Lagos, and next was Enugu, the next was Anambra, and now we are seeing the same thing being replicated in Delta State. Let's go down to the full detail of the information. Over 1,000 people were displaced as Delta State government on Friday demolished hotels, schools, among other buildings at the popular 74 Road and Hawaii 
road areas near Government House Asaba, the state capital. The chairman of the State Task Force on Recovery of Government Land, Mr. Frank Omari, who led the members of the committee during the demolition exercise, vowed to go after the land grabbers who misled innocent citizens in buying government land. Omari said the property owners had entered.